For our proud Pinoy this week, we got the chance to sit down with the fashion designer behind a local clothing brand that promotes the culture and tradition of his very own hometown, Bulacan. Let's hear it from him as he shares his entrepreneurship journey. Watch this. Meet Mr. Marvin Garcia, a fashion designer as well as the owner of Marvin Garcia Clothing. Aside from managing the business and working as a makeup artist, the 31-year-old entrepreneur is also a counselor in their barangay in Bulacan, where Marvin Garcia Clothing was born 15 years ago. Siguro kung susumayin talaga nung nag-start ako sa bahay namin, siguro mga 15 years. Because nag-start pa lang kasi ako mga 16 to 17 years old pa lang ako nag-start na ako ng business pa lang ganito. According to Marvin, fashion has always been his thing since he was little. He recalled having a curious mind as a kid that would often lead him creating things for fun. Soon, he worked for a dress shop for free due to his desire to learn the ins and outs. Little did he know that it will open many doors for his fashion career. Before, namamasukan ako sa dress shop talaga. Pero wala akong salary. As in, pumapasok ko lang ako ng sarili ko na gusto ko lang matuto. Um, eh, yung friend ko kasi, sumali siya ng budget, eh, wala siyang... Kung baga wala siyang budget talaga para magbayad ng malaki dun sa boss ko para ikagawa kami ng gown. So, nagtry ako, tumakas ako sa boss ko, nagumawa ako ng ibang gown. And then after nun, kasi medyo hindi na kami naging okay ng boss ko kasi nga dahil dun sa pangyayari na yun, na mas nakabuti pa pala sa akin kasi dun ako nag-start. Looking back, Marvin said that his family and friends served as an inspiration to him as well as his own dream to create a name for himself in the fashion industry. Una kasi naisip ko talagang I work for myself, for my family and para matulungan ko rin yung ibang mga kaibigan ko na mga off-school youth eh. Kaya wala akong inisip na kahit na ano na kailangan ganito, kailangan ganyan. So kung ano lang talaga yung straight na kailangan kong gusto kong i-achieve yun lang. Marvin says he represents his own brand whenever he gets invited to international affairs. He also makes sure that his designs are unique and that they reflect the culture of Bulacan. Once na pagka may nag-invite sa akin ng mga designers o kaya ibang show sa ibang lugar, mas una kong pinupush kung ano yung culture ng Bulacan. So, gumagawa ako ng gown na made of kung ano yung pagkakailanan sa Bulacan para mas makilala ako sa ibang lugar. And then, saka ako mag-start ng kung ano talaga yung bet ko talaga na gawin. For Marvin Garcia Clothing, Marvin shared that he gets materials from abroad and from the local shops in Divisoria. The price range depends on the design and the materials used for the clothes. Siguro depende sa mga design at style nila, pero nag-start ko ng 10K pataas. Pero yung mga rentals ko, ito sa 1,500, 1,000, gano'n. Marvin is also proud that his clothes and designs get recognized through well-known personalities in show business who wear and support his brand. Siyempre, masaya kasi kung baga kahit pa na may nakakapansin ng mga gawa namin. Pero bukod doon, kasi ala naman akong ibang iniisip, kundi pagpatuloy na yung trabaho ko. Kaya, happy ako. Marvin shared that it wasn't easy starting out his own brand as there were a few challenges here and there. Smiling, the 31-year-old fashion designer said that the struggles he had contributed a lot to his success. Sa unang-una, hindi naman lahat ng tao pwede natin i-please. Kung baga hindi naman lahat gusto yung design namin kasi iba-iba tayo ng gusto. Siguro minsan nakaka-problema kasi hindi naman mawawala talaga sa tao yung sa business yung magka-problema. Pero thanks God naman kasi hindi naman ganun katitindi kung baga mga mild lang nagagawa din ng paraan. The young fashion designer highlighted that staying in touch with what's trendy while still remaining true to your branding is important to keep your business relevant considering that there are a lot of competitors in the fashion industry. He said that this is how he keeps up. He also admitted that he gets inspiration in his icon's works. Mahirap talaga kasi syempre kailangan lagi kang updated sa mga fashion, kung ano yung uso, kung ano yung ganto. So, 
yun na lang yung pinagpapasalamat ko sa Diyos kasi parang siya yung nagsusuplay sa akin kung ano yung dapat kong gawin lagi. So, dahil nga sa ganun, siguro, hindi ako nawawala dun sa kung ano man yung <laughs> uso, kung ano yung passion. Siguro, kailangan din kasi mag-inspire ka din kasi syempre, kagaya nila Michael Cinco, yung mga idol ko, yun. Talking about his future plans for Marvin Garcia Clothing, Marvin shared that he is planning to create a line dedicated to little kids ages 0 to 7 years old. May plan ako ngayon kasi napapansin ko ngayon yung maraming mga parents na talagang nababaliw sa mga bata na especially mga baby pa lang, mga 0 to, month, 0 to 8 months, naggagaw na. So, ito yung plano kong magtayo ng Marvin Garcia, the for babies, of 0 to 7 years old, gano'n. Marvin shares his advice to aspiring designers who are planning to enter the fashion industry and start their own business. Kung ano yung gusto nyo, yun yung gawin nyo. Tsaka, lagi tayo magpapasalamat sa Diyos. Tsaka, kung ano yung sobra sa atin, itulong natin sa kaupa natin. Dahil ako ay naniniwala na talagang kung ano yung ginagawa mong mabuti, yun yung babalik sa'yo. Kaya, Kung ano yung gusto niyong gawin sa buhay niyo, kung ano yung gusto niyong marating, kung ano yung, yung, kung ano yung sinasabi ng puso niyo na kung saan kayo dedicated, yun yung gawin niyo para maging successful kayo. Marvin humbly invites all fashion lovers out there to check out and support Marvin Garcia Clothing. Uh, I-invite ko po kayo na sana po yung iba pong mga kailangan dyan ng gowns, wedding, bibus, or others. Just visit my page, Marvin Garcia Collection. And Marvin Garcia Collection is located at number 29. Kupang may isang tol, bulahan-bulahan. That was Marvin Garcia of Marvin Garcia's Collection, our featured proud Pinoy entrepreneur this week.